the Cannes, Toronto, and New York Film Festival shines a blazing light on adolescence and homelessness, the Florida Project tells the story of a precocious six-year-old and her friends in a rundown motel in the shadow of Disney World. The film stars Willem Dafoe in one of the best performances of his career, plus an amazing newcomer who was discovered on Instagram. Joining me now is the movie's director, Sean Baker. It's good to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for coming Thanks in. For few years to get this movie off the ground. Mm. What what was the inspiration and the process? My uh, co-screenwriter, Chris Brigash, he brought this world to my attention. Um, families with children growing mm -hmm. up in budget motels right outside of the place that we consider the most magical place on earth right. for children. And it was something that stuck with me and something we wanted to explore, but we were unable to get financing at first. So I went ahead and made a micro-budget film called Tangerine. Mm -hmm. We shot it entirely on the iPhone. Did you guys know that? I think that was the first feature film like that, right? One of the first, yeah. The first one to go to Sundance, at least, yeah. So That's, that's amazing. <laughs> so it opened up doors for us, and it allowed us to get financing for this to happen. And when we revisited this subject, we realized it was still going on. I mean, right. we had actually met children, six, seven, eight years old, who had spent their entire lives growing up in the right. budget motels. So, And it's such an important topic right now, whether we're talking about income equality or mm. the haves and the have-nots, the cleavages in our society that we sometimes don't see. That's definitely. Um, and I presume you really wanted us to look. Exactly, exactly. And at the same time, you know, we did want to present this heavy subject, this heavy topic in a digestible way. Mm -hmm. So it is a very entertaining film that focuses on the joy of children, but it, it hopefully leaves the audience thinking about this topic afterwards, going yeah. home and thinking about the real Moonies out there. Absolutely, yeah. let's take a look at a clip. Sure. I got a videotape of the kids illegally entering the utility room. I got it. I'm going to talk to her. What happened, Skin? You're out of here. It's only second week of the summer and there's already been a dead fish in the pool. We were doing an experiment. We were trying to get it back alive. That wasn't my and, idea. And water balloons thrown at tourists? You can't f*** with tourists. They didn't tip us. Are you serious? No. Oh, my God. This is unacceptable. I failed as a mother, Mooney. You've disgraced me. Harley. Yeah, Mom, you're disgraced. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to Ashley, by the way. When your friend puts you in charge of her kid, that kid becomes your responsibility. You ain't taking responsibility. And you got that one, too? She's from Futureland, right? Oh, whatevs. You got to relax, my man. You going to redo my expense reports with your whatevs? Your kid killed my night. I wanted to watch the ball game. You're going to pay me for three hours that I got to work later? Hey, guys, pay the man for his three hours. I don't have any I don't money. Have I don't have any money. We don't have any money, you shit out of Speaking of which, you haven't given me this which rent yet. You don't think I know that, chill? Thank you. You done here? Yeah. Thank you. Watch those kids. I think I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> those kids are just amazing. They and are. <laughs> uh, the young actress who stars in the movie, where did you find her? How did how does this happen that kids are that talented? <laughs> I know, I know. Brooklyn Prince. Brooklyn with two N's. She already has a Hollywood name. Yeah, uh, she's yeah. ready to go. <laughs> yeah, we, we found her actually from a local casting company. I wanted to cast this film locally, meaning mm -hmm. all the kids I wanted from that area. And she was in the, the uh, database for a local casting company. She had done some commercials and she had done one indie. But uh, my gosh, within seconds of her coming into the audition room, she blew us away. And I really By consider- By what? How can you tell? Well, she had this, she had the energy, wit, the cuteness. She had right. like the spanky McFarlane from the Little yeah. Rascals, little puppy <laughs> cheeks, all of his characteristics. And then when we started working with her more, we realized she could get to like emotional heights that we needed her wow. to get to. I really do consider her in the same category as uh, Mickey Rooney and Jodie Foster, or somebody who was born into this and, and will have a very bright right. future. How ahead. old is she? She was six when we shot oh seven now. Lord. Yeah. At, the, at the ripe old age of six. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so you have a very unconventional way of casting the film, yeah. uh, uh, films probably in general. The new friend and Jancy, you discovered where? Target. Target? Target How'd that store. happen? Um, we have some, we employ uh, street casting 
techniques sometimes. And I was walking through Target one night and there was little Valeria Cotto uh, with this vibrant red hair and, her, and I gave my business card to her mother. She was a little freaked out at yeah, first, well, but she Googled me. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she Googled me, everything was fine. She came in for the audition and uh, again, she was just won us over in seconds. That's amazing, the yeah. best friend Scooty. Well, he was actually part of a local casting call where we reached out to the community and we said, bring your children in, they don't need previous ex prior experience. We just are looking for great personas, and he was one of them. And he was there, and yeah. then the mom, Haley. Well, she was an Instagram find. Isn't that something? I know, something? that's weird. How would you find, on a, on a still photo kind of thing? Well, Instagram you know? also has videos. Yeah. So I was able to see her actually interact with her audience, and, and she had this uh, youthful energy, her physicality, of course, with those tattoos. But she was self-deprecating, she was witty, she was making me laugh. She wasn't your ordinary Instagram girl who just puckers for the camera and does a selfie. She had <laughs> more face. than that. Yeah, and <laughs> we thought, why not give her a chance? You know, this role probably requires a fresh face because of what the character's going through. We don't want to see a celebrity up on yeah. it. It'll pull us out. So we brought her down to Orlando. She read with Brooklyn and it was there, it was working. And did great. Yeah. And then Willem yeah. Dafoe, who yes. is amazing. He came through the conventional ways of casting. Yes, you know, Agencies, yes. et cetera. But um, he is just such a lovely man. He's, he's patient and kind and was a team player and wanted to blend in himself. He mm -hmm. knew he was surrounded by a bunch of first timers and, and his goal was to blend in. So he took the time. He came in a week early, met with motel managers that helped inspire his character. He's just incredible. You he know, it's an incredible. honor to work with him. And he just radiates, you know, oh, yeah. some intelligence and, oh, yeah. you know, all kinds of things. Oh, and yeah. it's great to see him in a story like yeah, this. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. We really appreciate it. The Florida Project opens in select theaters tomorrow. Please go see it. It's really amazing. After the break, local James Beard nominated chef Rachel Yang and her new cookbook of Korean fusion comfort foods with a worldly twist. Dumplings are involved in a minute. Yeah. Yeah.